What is one thing you suck at it and you wish you knew how to do? Mine is makeup. And for the first time in this year, I'm going to do my makeup. And it's not perfect. And I still have room for learning. And if you have any instruction you can share with me in the comment section, I'll be very happy. And I watch a bunch of videos. But still, I just don't know why makeup is not my thing. So... Before they say you have to moisturize and make sure your skin is well hydrated and I follow the step. I use all my skincare product that's gonna make me my face look good and I dry it up. And I went ahead and used my sunscreen even before I applied anything on. So I sunscreen myself, make sure my whole face is sunscreen up, even though the event is not outside event, and I use my hand fan to blow my face up and Make sure it was dry before I do any step. But this makeup wasn't makeup. And I just don't know what I did wrong. But you guys should show me what to do. And I went ahead and used my primer. I used this primer. I bought all this stuff from Macy's. And they are all high quality stuff. And my foundation was matched with my skin at Macy's. And I just don't know what the hell is happening. It's like makeup. Me and makeup are not married together. Even though I don't do it much more often. This was my first makeup. And it was in the ending of July of this year. And I never do makeup. So they say you have to use your setting spray. Before you even apply the makeup. After you put on your primer. So everything is well hydrated. And everything sit beautiful. I just did that. And I just don't know what's happening. Is it my face or... Is it that me and makeup are not compatible so I can go on to something else? So now I have my, no, this is foundation. Oh my God. I don't even know none of them. I use it around my eyebrows. And as you can see, it is hard for me to do anything with makeup. I'm just trying with the eyebrow. Both my eyebrows are different shape and I prefer to leave it like that. One is round and one is like the normal stuff that people do. This is my natural eyebrow shape from both sides i didn't even trim it or do anything but it can be fixed to make it more the more than one so i put whatever on my cheek everything like i just painted my face and for some reason every time i look at myself in the mirror it's like what did i do what did i do but i still went on an event with this so i started pumping oh i first used my lighter shade of concealer and I use my foundation. I don't know if I did it wrong. You guys can let me know in the comment section because I just don't know anything about makeup. And I can watch 50 tutorials and still not be able to follow instructions. I just don't know if it's myself trying to shut myself off this part of my femininity. Did I put on it right? That I don't need makeup, so I'm not just going to learn. But once in a while, I need makeup first time in this year i needed makeup and it's like i have all the makeup products but it feels like i'm not doing it right or i'm putting too much i just don't know you guys just leave your comment in the comment section and help me figure out this makeup situation i just like to wear my natural face all the time so after i just dab dab mix all the uh concealer and the foundation i just went ahead onto my eyelashes that's what i know how to do better i know how to do my eyelashes and then this is even my first time in this year doing all this stuff. I never do all this stuff. Just did both sides and to the profession that I like. And I went ahead and used my, what's it called? The the uh, makeup you use on your eye. Oh my God. I just don't even know what it is. So I went ahead and just did my eyelashes. And I pick up something and I just double double it. On the back of my eyes to make it nicer which i like like dark brown or something so now i was using my satin powder to absorb any moisture that was on my face so it will make the makeup sit better and this setting powder is much more better for my shade and i love it all the products matches my skin but for some reason applying it is just hard I remember when I was getting married, this lady did my makeup so flawless, even though my face is textured. And my makeup looked beautiful, but for some reason, I cannot do it. 
I think every single time that I need makeup, I need a professional makeup artist because I cannot do it. I know it might be expensive to do, but I need a professional makeup artist. And this is when I double double on my, the back of my eyes. I wasn't going for too much. I just put whatever I have to put to make it look a lot better. I just like the 80s type of style to put it all over your to the to your eyebrows so that's what i did and i have here my uh what what did they call it the shiny shiny part of the stuff to put just double it under my next to my eyes next to my eyebrows in the middle of my eyebrows on my nose and i just don't know the name you guys tell me in the comment section what the name is it makes it more highlighter that's what they call highlighter so i went ahead and double double where I want it to be seen, where I want the makeup. If people are looking at me, that's what they're looking. I don't know. want them to look anywhere beside that part of my face because the makeup wasn't makeup. And you guys shouldn't laugh at me. Any correction is accepted in the comment section. I just don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying everything. I know how to do a lot of stuff, but makeup is something that I don't know. And I went ahead and fixed my eyebrows a little bit. Which was even a challenge. Like I felt like it was going nice, and all of a sudden, like I uh, I ended up somewhere. So I just don't even know what I'm doing, but I'm trying. As long as I'm trying, I feel like everything. If you do it more, you get better at it. But I feel like I never do makeup, and I was using the end of my brush to just brush it to make it sit beautiful. At least what beautiful feels to me. So. I know in my natural skin, I feel beautiful and I'm very confident in my natural So, but this party had a dress code and you have to look presentable, so, and I'm going to hang out with all the rich people, so, I couldn't just go with just my full acne face, but look how textured my face is, the makeup wasn't sitting right, I just don't know if it's my camera or what, but... <laughs> I went ahead and fixed all the stuff I put on my, uh, back of my eyes. I don't even know what this is. Why am I blabbering so much? So once I was done, I was looking for something. I used my pencil to line my lips up. And I wasn't going for much more darker shade. Just something so simple. And I used my lip from uh, my lip lipstick or lip gloss. It is lighter pink from... Uh, what's the I can't remember the name if I remember. I'll put it in the comment section, but I don't know why I decided to do this voiceover this morning. I just woke up and I just don't know what I'm doing. Help me in the comment section if you have a better tutorial for me. And once I was done, I just spray a setting spray to make it not too much. So once I put on the setting spray, I was like, mm, I like this stuff. Then I went ahead and took off my head stuff. I was rocking a wig, which is great and a little bit old. Not great. Yeah, no, it's not great. It is thin. I just don't know. So I just like this wig. It's one of my favorite wigs, but I kind of ruined it for getting the front straight because I didn't want to wear the bang because I have to be classy and simple to this event. So this is me and this is the dress that I was wearing. I love the dress and after everything was done, I kind of like the makeup a lot. But when you're looking at it from the, from closer, it does not look that much. I went ahead and oiled my shoulders where it's going to be showing. And I just took my, <laughs> I decided to get a perfect shape of like picture angled and stuff. And this dress is fire. This dress is from Kevin Klein and it's like almost $200 and I'm very happy I purchased it and my shoes was from Kevin Klein too. And I kind of put on a pearl earring and I rocked the diamond ring that my husband got for me. So this is me in the car without a filter and this is me with a filter. If my makeup sit this good, I would have been happier. But what, however I got it, I'm still happy. I rock it and I love it. You cannot judge anything, not everything anybody knows how to do. I'm very sure if I had would have hired a professional makeup person it would have been beautiful and flawless but this is with a lighter filter that looks similar to your skin and i was kind of enjoying myself from the ride this was before i came live and it's kind of enjoying it's like in my head how is my makeup not sitting this nice that i have to worry so much practice practice and i can't even get it right and i went ahead and used another filter 
And this filter was giving like a clown filter, but I took it off and I went ahead and found something. And it's like, oh my God, if my makeup would have said this elegant, I would have been so much happier because this is the kind of makeup that I'm looking to wear. And it didn't happen, but still we rock our look and we went to the event and it was all rich people. And I just got to be in a mix of rich people. See you in the comment section. Bye.